they can cause life-threatening infections. The yeast fungus Candida albicans and the mold Aspergillus fumigatus. Such fungal infections are becoming an increasingly serious problem. They are difficult to detect and treat. Patients with a weakened immune system, such as those undergoing cancer therapy or who have had a transplant, have particularly low chances of recovery. In Jena and Würzburg, microbiologists, physicians, biochemists, immunologists and bioinformaticians are working together in the Funginet Collaborative Research Centre, Transregio, to find better ways of understanding and treating dangerous fungal infections in the future. On the one hand, of course, we want to understand why exactly it is that these fungi, out of the hundreds of thousands we already know, can cause disease. In other words, what are the mechanisms that enable them to overcome the human immune system? And then, based on this knowledge, we would like to improve both diagnosis and therapy of these truly life-threatening diseases. A team of researchers in Würzburg is investigating how Aspergillus fumigatus causes a specific lung disease. The key questions are how the fungus spreads in the lungs and how the immune cells react to it. To investigate, the scientists have developed a completely new laser-based microscope. A key method is what is known as light sheet fluorescent microscopy, which enables us to look inside the whole lung, which has been made transparent by a chemical process. Thus, we can map the interaction between the immune cells and the fungus at cellular resolution in three dimensions. Only when we understand these mechanisms will we be able to develop a therapeutic strategy. This is exactly what the scientists in Jena and Würzburg are working on together. They are particularly interested in phagocytes, which play a key role in controlling fungal infections. This immune response is also very important during infections caused by Candida albicans. The so-called neutrophil granulocytes in human blood are a type of immune cell that absorb and kill the fungus very quickly. When there are fewer of these immune cells in the blood, as is the case with chemotherapy patients or certain hereditary diseases, the risk of fungal infection increases. Funginet scientists have previously discovered this. We were the first to show that it is really the neutrophil granulocytes that kill the fungus in the blood. This had always been suspected, but never entirely proven. And now we are trying to work out how we can improve the function of these cells in sick patients in order to kill the pathogen in the blood and prevent it from spreading to other organs. In Jena, bioinformaticians are also studying Candida albicans. They want to know what role the microbiome in the gut, the entirety of the intestinal microorganisms, plays during such a fungal infection. For this, they are working closely with medical and biological research teams from the Funginet network in Jena and Würzburg. Many different groups in the consortium are providing us with high throughput data and we develop uh, sophisticated algorithms to integrate this data and propose the novel prophylactic and therapeutic solutions. The bioinformatician's theoretical data must be revalidated in the laboratory. Ethically controlled experiments with living organisms, in this case with mice, are absolutely necessary to succeed. This requires constant communication and exchange between experimental scientists and bioinformaticians of the Funginet consortium. This is a two-way exchange. Our data from the samples is analyzed further by the bioinformaticians, who then generate hypotheses. In order to test these hypotheses to see if they're correct, we go back to the animal model. We take mice that we colonize in a defined way with specific bacteria to see if these bacteria are sufficient to keep the fungus in check. 
The researchers found that Candida albicans reproduces particularly well when the intestinal microbiome is out of balance, for example after using antibiotics. This increases the risk that the fungus will spread from the bowel to other organs and cause a life-threatening infection. The researchers are now investigating which bacteria are particularly important for controlling the fungus. We already know a large number of the so-called virulence determinants. These are the very factors that allow these fungi to overcome the human immune system. But on the other hand, we now understand much better how the immune system reacts to them and what the essential aspects of the immune system are that help to fight fungal disease. Using their extensive knowledge, Funginet researchers want to move towards applications that will make it easier to diagnose life-threatening fungal infections in the future and treat them more successfully.